Hi folks, welcome to the Mount Evelyn DX Report. On September the 29th, I wrote a blog post entitled Texan PL680 Beats Expectations Part 1. We got a lot of nice feedback from, from that report. And in it, I promised that I'd uh, do a follow-up video where we compare the 680 against the Yaesu FTDX 3000 communications transceiver. And the reason why I'm doing that is because while I was up uh, running around the top end of Australia for a couple of months earlier in the year, I took this little radio along with me and uh, I was so surprised at how well it performed uh, and uh, how sensitive it was. So I thought, well, let's compare the sensitivity of the two radios just to see how good the 680 really is, especially in picking up weak signals. Now, in order to do this, you could use test equipment and get inside the circuitry and work out a whole bunch of numbers, but nothing beats an actual practical on-air comparison, which is what we're going to do today. The things to remember here is that these two radios are completely different beasts. This is a portable unit, uh, and it's at the cheaper end of the market. This is a, a base uh, rig, big, heavy rig with lots and lots of um, facilities in it. They also have completely different audio circuitry, and so therefore they sound quite different. And different sound quality can sometimes give the, give the illusion of uh, different sensitivity. So with the 3000, for instance, you can change the uh, tone quality quite easily. You can change the contour shape of the audio signal in different ways. And that will affect uh, quite radically the sound that comes out of the speaker. Where with the 680, all you have is a treble and bass control. So both radios for this particular test we're going to plug in to an external independent speaker and try and match the volume levels as close as we can to equal volume. And the sound will be recorded on this particular Rode video microphone uh, and that'll be placed right up close to that external speaker. Now we'll try to match the t uh, tone quality as much as we can from both radios, because, but that's hard to do because, as I say, they're really completely different beasts. So the 680 will be set on its treble setting. Uh, the uh, uh, FTDX3000 will have uh, no digital noise reduction on it. We'll turn all that off. It has a very sophisticated level of uh, noise reduction, so we're not going to use any of that. And of course the uh, DX, uh, sorry, the 680 doesn't have any noise reduction at all. The 3000 will have its on its highest uh, pre-amplification setting, which means it's going to have its highest sensitivity. And for the 680, it will be set on the DX setting. Um, for those of you who are familiar with this little radio, you'll notice that there's a local, normal and DX setting. So we're going to be having it on that, that particular setting. So both radios will be using the same antenna. It is a PAR SWL NFED antenna. It's about nearly 14 metres long or about 45 feet and it's externally mounted. There are two switches that we'll, I'll be operating as we're doing the comparisons here. One switch will switch each radio in turn to the external speaker and the other switch will be switching the antenna to each radio, the same antenna to each radio. Now we've had some uh, noisy atmospheric conditions over the last 24 hours with a lot of thunderstorm activity, so there's quite a lot of static crashing going on as well there in the background. I didn't bother uh, looking at the strongest signals. Both radios can hear the strong signals quite well. I'm more interested in the, the weaker signals. Uh, and making that comparison between the uh, between the two radios, because that is really the judge of how good a receiver is in terms of its sensitivity. So I think you'll be surprised at just how good that uh, Texan PL680 is when you're picking up um, weak signals. So let's get down to the test. <laughs> それは、
任務頼むよ。<笑>
So there it is. We've tested on a few different signals there, and uh, I think you'll agree that the the Texan PL680 uh, certainly holds its own against the uh, the bigger transceiver. Of course, it doesn't have all the same facilities that the the big one has, uh, and the and the Yasu can certainly dig out signals when you've got your digital noise reduction in there and lots of other facilities. And we didn't show any of that today. We just wanted to compare the two radios at their own at their base sort of level, default level, if you like. And uh, so the six eighty is certainly a really good unit to throw in the car and. Uh, go on a, a bit of a day expedition maybe out to the country or down by the sea and uh, put an external antenna on it and it really fires up very, very nicely. So I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the tests and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. 73s and good DXT all.